Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. My name's Taka. And I'm Hillary. And we're your hosts of the Carbs Tour in Calgary. Now, we really wish that you could be here in person, but we only have so many bottles of hand sanitizer. We're really excited that you're considering the University of Calgary Psychiatry Residency Program for where you'd like to come next year. We love our program, and we'd like to spend a few minutes now telling you about all the different components of our program that make it excellent. In our opinion, the people in a program is what makes it strong. Um, so you'll hear from our residents, staff, and administration. We hope you get a better idea of the type of community that we foster here in Calgary. And hopefully after the end of this video, you really want to come here next year. In this video, you won't be getting the nitty gritty details about how to apply, the structure of the program, or what interview day will look like, but you will get that information. So without further ado, We'd love for you to hear from our co-residents about how their year's been going. Hi, I'm Mark Fricaro. I'm a second year psychiatry resident at the University of Calgary. Hi everyone, my name is Keely and I am an R1 in psychiatry and originally I'm from New Brunswick. My name is Susan Poon, I'm a fifth year psychiatry resident. Hi, my name is Justin Kunkin, I'm one of the PGY3s in psychiatry. Hi, I'm Holly, I'm a new psych R1. Hey everybody, I'm Erica. I'm one of the R2s in psychiatry here and I'm from Ontario. My name is Jordan Lee. I'm a, a fifth year psychiatry resident here at the University of Calgary. My name is Sheila Acharya. I'm a chief resident um, at the University of Calgary Department of Psychiatry. So from my perspective as a new R1, it almost feels as if CBD has been going on since before we even started. The rollout honestly has been very smooth, preceptors have been incredibly accommodating, everybody's really been making a collaborative effort to make sure that it's been smooth and it's really worked and it kind of speaks volumes to the strengths of this program and how cohesive everybody is in making the experience really wonderful. So far, Commonly by Design has been really great. The staff has been super accommodating, um, really receptive to feedback, both giving and receiving. So it's been a super positive experience. I think that the University of Calgary program is a vibrant um, program where you essentially can choose your own adventure. It's amazing. Uh, it's the reason. It's the main reason why I want to stay in Calgary. I would just say open. Um, everyone's open and wanting to make you the best psychiatrist that you can be. We've heard that many, many times. Um, and so you never feel worried to ask questions or to um, ask for extra help. Not only are the attendings uh, really uh, amazing teachers, but they get to know you on a personal level, uh, take you out golfing and going for lunch. Very friendly. Uh, residents get together frequently. I'm good friends with a bunch of my co-residents. Um, yeah, I don't know how to describe it. All I can say is I really like it. So I personally chose the Calgary program based on a couple of different things. Uh, the collegiality of the staff, the resident body, and my experience that I had here as a clinical clerk. I felt that for a medium-sized program, it really offered all of the opportunities for training and education that I was after as a future applicant. And at the same time, it was a small enough environment where you really get to know your colleagues, who you're working with, and the experience is just generally really positive. And so I'd say the resident body, we all have each other's back and cover each other's call shifts. Uh, so that's been so warm and lovely. And also I'd say the teaching, you know, even in first year, they've tailored all of the off-service rotations to try to meet our educational needs, which is incredible. But it was uh, at CARMS where I came to this program uh, after the interview at Social. Uh, it was, uh, I couldn't resist not coming here. And so right after I called my wife, begging her if it was okay that we came here. She was on board, didn't have to coerce her and now we're very, very happy that we stayed. We're well supported here in Calgary. We each get two mentors when we start residency, one an upper year resident and the other a staff. And then you also get the opportunity to mentor new residents as well. I was really lucky to join the Collabo project that was created by our very own residents. Collabo is a project where a bunch of psychiatry residents and staff 
traveled to Tanzania to deliver their psychiatry curriculum to their medical students. And so we got to be involved in designing the curriculum, delivering the lectures as well as the presentations with the testing. And so we learned a lot about multicultural psychiatry as well as how to become better teachers. A great feature of our program is the environment of continuous open feedback and our close relationship with staff as well as our program director. We get to choose our preceptors, which means that there's always an incentive for them to be amazing teachers. And for them to buy us lunch. Let's hear what they have to say. Hi, my name is Aaron Mackey. I'm one of the staff docs here and I work as a neuropsychiatrist. Hi everyone. My name is John Tan. I'm a psychiatrist, a child psychiatrist here in Calgary. I work on Unit 23 at the Foothills Hospital. Hi, my name is Rory Selmer. I'm a psychiatrist here at the Foothills Hospital and a graduate of our training program. I'm the lead for the curriculum program, our assessments, as well as the transition to competency by design. My name is Dr. Kimberly Williams and I'm a neuropsychiatry fellow here at the University of Calgary. My name is Hante Kim. I'm one of the child and adolescent psychiatrists. I'm a relatively new grad, splitting my time between child and adolescent as well as adult, and then between inpatient and outpatients. I'm Greg Montgomery, and I'm the program director for Calgary Psychiatry. What I've really enjoyed most of all about uh, teaching here in Calgary in the academic part is really uh, teaching the residents. So I've really enjoyed not only the academic, the sit-down teaching, but also having residents on rotation. I found everyone here to be really, really easy to work with. And the residents group as a whole are very, very strong. And so I found this to be the most positive part of my experience here. I mean, every, we all, of course, enjoy the clinical aspect, but in particular, I think the University of Calgary offers a really strong residency program, a really cohesive group. And for me, that's been the highlight, actually. My experience as a preceptor here over the last 10 years has been one that has been an outstanding opportunity and an experience. We get a chance to work with a lot of the residents, even if we're not their direct clinical preceptors, in things like research studies, making CARMS videos, in terms of mentorship programs, and other events where we can have an opportunity to meet the residents and support them in their interests. What drew me to teaching and what I enjoy as a supervisor is I want to help our students become the best psychiatrist possible so that I would feel comfortable sending a family member to them without reservation. With that in mind, we approach teaching and supervision through the model of coaching, wanting to provide you with as much direct observation and concrete feedback to help you grow professionally and move through residency smoothly. I think that that is one of the hallmarks of our program, the way that we design our rotations is for lots of one-on-one -on -one contact with faculty, um, which I think is distinct across many medical disciplines, the amount of um, contact that our residents would have directly with staff psychiatrists um, with an educational focus rather than um, a strong bias towards solely towards service. So um, I think all of that is characteristic of our program and something we continue to try to grow and develop um, and build into our faculty in terms of their own skill set around um, coaching, around providing high-level feedback for our residents. So the neuropsychiatry program here in Calgary is quite unique. In a couple of months I'm hopeful that we will be the second in Canada to be accredited as a, a formal neuropsychiatry fellowship program. As a resident you will get an opportunity to work in the neuropsychiatry program even if you're not going to pursue a fellowship and that will involve you doing a lot of inpatient work on complex neuropsychiatric cases. You'll also work in about six of the outpatient neurology clinics as a neuropsychiatric consultant. The Collabro project was something I started when I was a PGY1 resident with Dr. Watterson, who's also a new staff here at the University of Calgary. It's a project that allows medical students uh, to learn about psychiatry in Wanza, Tanzania. The cool part about the project, if you come here to be a resident in Calgary, is you'll have the opportunity to head to Wanza for two weeks to teach a large group of around 200 medical students all about psychiatry, potentially lead the trip like two current residents are doing this year, and get involved in research. I think what stands out in Calgary um, and makes us quite unique is an extensive OSCE training program with annual exams as well as our simulation program that we've evolved over the last few years. So the reason that I moved to Calgary actually for child and adolescent program 
um, was for the two-year training program. I was previously in Toronto, and this was the only program that actually offered me um, and that wanted me here for the full two years instead of just one year um, and doing first year um, in Toronto. So one thing that I think is really important about this program is that you're really supported in things that happen in regards to your actual life. So when I was a fourth year re resident, I was pregnant, um, heading into my stacer, and the department actually moved my test time to being a couple of months before everyone else in my year so that I could do it before going on to maternity leave. Those types of actions taken by our department and our training program, I think really speak to how they value being a parent, whether you're becoming a dad or a mom. Um, and it's something that I really think is awesome about the Calgary program, that the, when you bring forward these types of things, it's always about congratulation congratulations and the same things happening to, to me right now as a fellow um, who's about to have a baby in a couple of months has been a lot of support uh, and I think it's really great. Lastly our program would literally fall apart without our administrative team. You've probably already spoken to a few of them. Here are a few words from Pauline. Hi my name is Pauline Burgess and I've been part of the Department of Psychiatry for the last 22 years. One of the little blurbs that we put in today for this year is a really valuable piece of information for you and I just want to read that out to you now. The program values candidate, candidates that just demonstrate integrity, professionalism and share a passion for psychiatry. They have a willingness to contribute to the collective training experience and that's a key feature for us. Qualities of maturity, reflectiveness, open-mindedness and adaptability make for successful matches for us. Despite our love for psychiatry, it's not the only thing that defines us. We've got our work-life balance down to a T, and there are a number of different passions that are held by our team here in the beautiful city of Calgary. Which, by the way, is only an hour away from the mountains. I'm from a town of 4,000, so it has that small town vibe, but it also has like 17th Ave, which is super fun to go out in. Um, I also love floating down the river. It's pretty unique to Calgary. And we actually had a staff the other week offer his raft so we could float down the river, which just speaks to the culture here and the relationship with staff. I like to go camping and hiking, fishing, biking, a lot of outdoorsy stuff. and. Calgary is very is a great place for that. Riding my bike, riding my bike to get ice cream, and going to the mountains on weekend. And so I love playing basketball. I'm a huge Raptors fan, so I follow the Raptors uh, quite closely, and I also play basketball myself, and I'm involved in coaching my uh, kids as well. And then one of my other passions is I love fly fishing, and so out in the west here and in the mountains, there's many many opportunities that way. So though. Those are a few of the things that really uh, keep me busy in addition to chasing my uh, kids all around into their various activities. I really love to run. I love walking the different paths, I love going to the different restaurants, um, exploring the different craft breweries, so many different fun things to do here. Drink coffee, go for a bike ride, have a nap. In Calgary, I love to get out to the dog park with my doggo. There's a number of places that are really friendly and welcoming to hang out in outdoors and parks and I really love the restaurant scene here too. I spend a lot of time trying local restaurants and some of the local breweries as well. Amongst our residents, uh, we're always hanging out. We went to, uh, to go paintballing, uh, we have parties. Calgary's a city for everybody. I like to play board games at cafes, go see musicals, go snowboarding in the mountains in the winter. <laughs> what do I like to do for fun? Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna game out all weekend. <laughs> I'm a video gamer, so I'll, I'll do that. You need to come here if you're interested in psychiatry. <laughs> um, the teaching is awesome. The community is awesome, and really, I do think that by the end of these five years, I'm gonna be set and well prepared for my future. You are gonna have a lot of opportunities at other programs to look at their structure, their size, their strengths and weaknesses. And I think Calgary is the perfect size. You are not going to be the only person in your year or in your rotation. You're also not going to just be a number. 
your interests are going to be able to be pursued and you're going to find that you're supported in interests that you have, whether they be interests that others have had before you or whether you are a trailblazer with unique interests. And I think you'll find yourself to be very fulfilled at this program. If you're looking for a program that's highly education oriented, flexible, and responsive to your needs and that will fight for you, Calgary is the program for you. Calgary has always stood out for being incredibly collegial and residents are treated like junior colleagues while also being very responsive to the resident needs. This can be seen through the evidence of how our curriculum has evolved over the last few years to meet those needs. If you like a good sized program with awesome diverse residents and a city that has everything to offer including being super close to the mountains, I'd highly suggest you come to the U of C for Psychiatry. I think the main thing that I think about this program is when you're looking where to train, you want to look at somewhere where you feel supported, where you have mentors, where you have people that figure out some of your deficits in your knowledge and your learning and feed that back to you in a way that's responsive so you can grow and provide the best patient care possible and I really think that that happens here. The other big thing is I think there's mentors that will see you through in all of the aspects of life that come your way while in residency and I don't know that's the case in every other program. It's also been supportive of new initiatives, which is amazing. Um, and it's just a really fun place to be in an awesome city. Uh, residents seem to be actually really loving it. Every residents that seem to know everybody else and the fact that they feel very connected. Um, something I definitely envy coming from a bit of a larger program, for sure. We can work with you to tailor it to whatever you're interested in. But it's a wonderful city to live in. You're very close to the mountains. Um, it's got a vibrant, young um, nightlife. Uh, it's a fun place to be. So please do choose us. I love the program so much that uh, I hope I fail and so I continue being a resident for as long as possible. It's just that good and I, if that doesn't sell you, I don't know what will. What I'd say about Calgary, most of all, is I think it's a great place to live and work. So I think the program is very strong. Most people seem really, really happy here, and I can't think of anyone who isn't. And I think that people like the city as well, and I, I'm one of those. So I think that you really can't go wrong by having Calgary as a top choice. I wish you all the best of luck, and hang in there. This is a tough time for everyone, and this is a particularly tough time for applicants. So hang in there, do your best, and just trust that things will work in the end, all right? All the best. Bye now. From my perspective, the University of Calgary is an amazing place to train in psychiatry. I had that privilege um, and opportunity to do so myself, and from my point of view, the program has only grown and evolved since then, including the caliber and range of staff psychiatrists that um, prospective residents have a chance to work with. I think there's a real innovative and entrepreneurial spirit around our program and around uh, the department more broadly to kind of take on new initiatives, to be thinking outside the box and to be uh, moving the field forward. And so in all of those senses, I think that I'm incredibly proud of our program and I think that it's uh, a wonderful place to train and certainly I have no reservations about recommending it to any uh, prospective resident. We hope that this video has shown you what it will be like to be a resident here at the University of Calgary. The beautiful city and the surrounding area speak for themselves. We look forward to getting to know you a bit better through our virtual meet and greets over TikTok. Zoom. Over Zoom. Uh, we'll be sending out the schedule and the links for that shortly. Thank you and good luck.